particular guy that I that I, I found off of Craigslist, he was able to get hired. I had two other guys, two guys that I got off of Craigslist, and he was one of the ones, and he was able to get hired by Roadrunner. And um, but I, I don't I, I don't know when I went to pick this man up, this something just didn't sit well with me. But it was it was kind of late now. I mean, mm-hmm. we already have done everything i'm like okay i'm gonna give this man a chance um uh you know he was having financial issues all this stuff i went and purchased a prepaid you know visa card put money on the card just you know just to show him that you know hey you're coming to work for somebody who is who is a caring person and i understand that people go through things you know what i mean and so i wanted him to have some money in his pocket, you know, rather it be, he want to get something to eat, whatever the case, you know? So I think I put maybe about $250 on the card okay. just for him to have some money in his pocket. And so he never ran one load. What? Never ran one load. He was, no, never ran one load. He asked for, uh, even after giving him the visa card, he, you know, he came up with this story. Oh, somebody, I can't remember one of his family members, somebody needed money or needed something. So can he get a cash advance? I allowed him to get a cash advance. Um, then he needed another cash advance. And I told him, I said, hey. When When is get, you going to start get, working, sorry, bro? No. Exactly. Exactly. I'm like, hey, get a certain, get, get only the amount you need out. And that's all. Because I made the mistake of giving him my card which that's what I thought I was supposed to do and, and, and not give, I didn't know that Roadmaster was going to issue him another car just as a driver and not the owner operator card. So he was able to take out it however much he wanted to take out up to the amount that they allow you. So in so other words, I this told dude him, started I said, hey, stealing from me. He, he took, he took all of the amount that they allow instead of taking the amount that I, that he asked for and that I told him to take. Okay, so then it went from that to him getting sick and um, having something something with his brain. He had to have emergency brain surgery, and he sent me pictures of all this blood in my truck where he had threw up all this blood. And and so, um, you know, of course, I'm I'm sympathetic. I'm like, oh my god, man, I, uh, you know, well, my family got to come get me, and this, this, and this, and. My truck was here in Atlanta at, at the terminal, uh, the Roadrunner terminal here in Atlanta. I said, hey, just, just put the key somewhere and um, just leave it unlocked and I'll, I'll come get it. I just want you to be okay. You know, I'm praying for you and, and, and your surgery and all this stuff, right? So so after the surgery, you know, I touched bases with him and um, he said he was doing, that he was doing better. And uh, so then maybe a week or two, after his surgery, he reaches out to me, ready to pull loads. Now, who in the heck has brain surgery? And when I tell you, and I shared those pictures on Facebook, the amount of blood that he showed in my truck, there's no freaking way in two weeks that you're ready to go out and pull loads. And then come to find out you had pulled loads for a friend of yours a week prior to you calling me. That sounds okay. dirty. Exactly. Here's my so, here's here's my problem <laughs> with 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 you guys. You, I mean, with the owner operators that are having problems uh, trying to get good drivers, man. It's just unfortunate that you got these bum ass drivers out here that's making it bad yep. for making it yep. for for a potential yep. good driver to do the damn thing. Exactly. You know, it's already exactly. bad enough. It's and already bad. It's already bad enough that you got to go through the process. You got to vet them. You got to do this, that, and the third. Mm-hmm. And you think you got somebody mm-hmm. and all you're going to do, is, and then it just turns around and all they want to do is use you, get mad at yep. you, come on Facebook or social yep. media to down talk you, but to come, you know, yep. but you you yourself is a badass driver. Like, bro. Yep. Yeah. And let me, let me tell you this. I was in, okay, so when I got my, my, my freight line, the first freight liner, I was in orientation at Snyder because, remember, I leased under Snyder. I was in orientation at Snyder when he, when he was ready to start. I, in, in North Charlotte, North Carolina, 
I drove one night, got out of class, uh, or orientation class, drove all the way to South Georgia to pick him up and then bring him all the way to Atlanta to the terminal and then drive all the way back to North Kit to Charlotte wow. for my class the next day. He just so you can best believe you. that, man, that's all he did. But you can best believe I'm t- I, I, after that, I've, I've taken a whole different approach. You know, I was with, about to ask you, did that drivers I put in my truck? Did did that did that change your whole outlook as far as looking for uh, drivers? Mm-hmm. Then? Because and now, yeah. because now you you know you you know unfortunately, the, I guess the success of finding a a good driver didn't work out. So you you end up giving up the giving up the truck back to but back to road runner. But but as right. of, but as of now like trying to start a fleet that did change the way that you Mm -hmm. that you look at Mm -hmm. potential drivers now right definitely definitely i'm not hiring nobody i don't know nobody i don't know i don't care if i gotta train you myself (laughs) i'm not hiring put nobody in one of my trucks that i don't know Nope, not doing it. Now, how many trucks you got all together? Uh, because I I know I just seen one picture of you picking up another truck. So how many how many trucks you got all together, mm-hmm. uh, Fly Trucker? I, I got three now. Uh, getting that little fleet together. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. Okay, that's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. So, uh, so and, 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 how, and how, it's for it's for it's for a bigger, but it's for a bigger purpose. That how how for has, a bigger purpose. How how has it how has it been going uh for you so far, uh Fly Trucker? You got you got three trucks, it's you've been, been, been an owner operator for a while, you got the you, you, you got the business end of everything, you got the knowledge, you putting you putting things uh-huh. in place. How how has it been going for you, Fly Trucker? It's been going great. I have no complaints. Of course you know there's pros and cons with every and anything. You know what I mean? Um, I, I I think what I can say uh, right now is um, the most I've really had to deal with has just been kind of recent. Um, I had two trucks. Well, I, I, I had gotten this truck and while I, while I was waiting on this truck, of course, the truck that I was in and the one that I trained my brother in that he's now in um, you know, there were there were a few things that I needed to get done to that truck, and and then my other truck had some a few issues. So everything seemed like it it kind of piled down at one one time. And I think that that's probably would be my my con to 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 this since I've had these trucks. 